So many people ask me about the ins and outs of sous vide chicken, so today I'm going to go in depth and let you know how to sous vide chicken and finish it in a cast iron skillet. Hey guys, it's Jenna here from Sit Bite Go, and today I'm going to leave nothing unanswered when it comes to sous vide chicken. I wrote a whole entire chapter on poultry in my new sous vide cookbook, and today I'm going to go in the kitchen and show you exactly how it's done. Let's take a look at the different ways that you can sous vide chicken. For this recipe, I recommend using four chicken breasts that you can also slice in half to make eight chicken tenders total. Now, these are thin pieces that I really like to use for salad portions because I really like the taste of the char on the outside when the chicken is finished on the grill or in a cast iron pan. So to make this, all I used was salt and pepper. My salt was garlic flavored and peppery hickory. The next thing you're going to do is vacuum seal the chicken in a flat layer. And to do this, I like to really space them out. As you see, they go in the bag and then I'm gonna use my fingers to space them out so there's some room in between the chicken. If they're touching a little bit, that's okay. But the flat layer is important for them to cook evenly in the sous vide bath. So chicken cook sous vide style is uh, a very fast cook, but you want to make sure that they're not doubling up in there. And that's why I prefer to use the vacuum seal bag, but you could also use a Ziploc bag. The thing with the Ziploc bag is if you're putting a few chicken in one Ziploc bag, they'll probably end up floating together. Whereas if you're using a vacuum seal bag, it's easier to make sure they're spaced out. So they cook evenly. So then the sous vide chicken goes into the water bath. The time and temperature for chicken cooked sous vide is 60 minutes. And one of my favorite temperatures to use is 140 degrees. I think that really makes a very tender juicy chicken and then I can finish it on the grill or in a cast iron pan and I know that the seared edge is going to bring it all together. So again my recommendation and what I'm using for the recipe here, the chicken you see here, is 140 degrees for 60 minutes. So after the sous vide chicken has cooked for 60 minutes, you remove it from the hot water bath and then you're going to just put it in some ice cold or icy water that's going to shock the bag and stop the chicken from cooking anymore. So if this is your first time seeing it, you're probably thinking that the chicken looks super strange once it's done from the sous vide bath. So you take it out of the sous vide water, you dunk it in the ice bath, and then you dry it on a paper towel, and you pat the top of it dry with another paper towel so it's completely dry, so it's ready to finish in a cast iron pan. And this whole process of drying it is going to help it come from like this really strange looking chicken into a delicious chicken, just like a chicken that you'd order out at your favorite cafe for lunch in like a chicken sandwich. So delicious. So let me show you how we sear it. One of the beauties of sous vide chicken is that you can finish it either that day, so you could eat it right after it comes out of the sous vide bath, or you could put the sous vide chicken in the refrigerator and take it out and pat it dry and sear it on the stove in a cast iron pan, just like I'm going to show you when you want to eat it. So you could sous vide it on a Sunday. You could sous vide a bunch of chicken on a Sunday and then eat them Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, you know, sometime later in the week. So to finish the sous vide chicken in a cast iron skillet, you heat the skillet to a medium high and add about half a tablespoon of olive oil. Once the olive oil is hot, you'll know because this chicken will sizzle when you add it to it. You add all of the chicken and you let them brown on each side until they're completely crispy and they have that delicious brown crust on the outside. So yeah, just after a few minutes, each side is completely browned. You know that the inside is already cooked from the sous vide process. So you can just pull them when they're browned and you don't have to worry about them being too pink or anything inside. And so uh, I like to make these ahead and I'll meal prep. Chicken is so easy to toss onto salads. Think how many people buy 
like already diced up chicken breast that's already cooked at the grocery store. Well, here you can just do it with your sous vide machine. So like I said, I'll um, put them in like little plastic containers so we have them for the week. And I'll toss them into tacos, quesadillas. Uh, sometimes I'll dice it up a little bit further and put them in roasted peppers. So I'll make stuffed peppers with them and some like tomato sauce and onions, things like that. So obviously chicken is so versatile. I probably don't have to give you too many ideas on how to enjoy it. But sous vide cooking is definitely something that you don't want to think about what you're just going to make for that day. You want to, if you're like me and busy, I don't know, if you have plenty of time, you can just cook something different each day. But I really think about what I'm going to make for a couple days at a time and go from there. So you can also, instead of doing the cast iron pan, when it's nice, finish these outside on a grill. And one of my favorite things to do on the grill all the time is to use barbecue sauce. So we like to slather on a lot of barbecue sauce, then we put them right on the grill. And once they sear and come off of the grill nice and easy, they're ready to go because they're already cooked on the inside. So check out sipbitego.com for more information about finishing chicken breasts that you sous vide on the grill. Um, you can also check out my YouTube channel for videos on that. As you can imagine, having a baby and a young family, I'm super busy, so batch cooking sous vide chicken is one of my favorite ways to utilize this method of cooking and helps me eat really good restaurant style food at home pretty much all the time. So this is just an example of another type of sous vide chicken dish that I would make using these basic principles. You can get these type of recipes at sipbitego.com or in my new cookbook, The Home Chef Sous Vide Cookbook. It has over a hundred recipes like these ones. So this other version includes seasoning it with fresh garlic and some slices of lemon and making an entire pasta dish with this delicious sous vide chicken. It's so tender. Check out my new cookbook. It has over a hundred delicious sous vide recipes and there's an entire chapter devoted to chicken, all sorts of cuts of chicken. Um, oh, it's poultry, so it's all different cuts of poultry. Um, and there you'll also find some of my favorite turkey recipes, like uh, some turkey breast that is just delicious. And such a great idea for Thanksgiving, especially if you're feeding a lot of people or people who have a specific diet. So you can just make them their own turkey breast in the sous vide machine and they'll be completely happy because sous vide turkey is delicious. Well, thanks for hanging out with me for the sous vide chicken recipe. I have a bunch of other sous vide recipes at sipbitego.com. I hope you have a wonderful and delicious day. Cheers!